director of funny, Tyson James Thoreau. This has been a challenging time. It's something that you have to hear at least 20 times every day. So saith the law of the lockdown. But this is not a time for mirth, but for mourning the dead. And now that that's over, we should rejoice at the arrival of the vaccines, which have completely fixed everything. So now there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Go ahead and toss out those face masks and get creative with your surplus tushy tissue. Everything turned out just fine. And as the American people smoothly transition from one administration to the next, so too shall we all transition back to normalcy. To say goodbye to our bunkers great and small, including this one, the Bunker of Chuckles. This bunker was born on March 22nd, 2020. Its parents were boredom and narcissism. In turn, it begat 30 episodes, including this one, some better than others, and sure, maybe they didn't get a lot of views. After a long, brave fight with mediocrity and anonymity, the Chuckle Bunker is peacefully succumbing to the ultimate obscurity of internet silence. And even though it is officially kaput, the Chuckle Bunker will live on in the hearts of the very small handful of people that watched it. And who knows, maybe it could still go viral. It's possible, right? No? Okay. Let us now look back on some of the more visually compelling moments with a mandatory in memoriam montage with musical accompaniment by the Chuckle Bunker Feline Choir. Ladies. In closing, I'd like to offer a traditional prayer from the Isle of Wight people. May the wind rise up to meet you. May the road always be at your back. May all of your bunkers have chuckles. Try not to be such a sad sack. Thank you, and bless you all.